So, um, this is what my day is like, and I'm not complaining. Right, my little girl? Can I have a kiss now? <laughs> okay, stop. This is really a Labrador video, and I just happen to be fixing a door. Hello? Oh! So, these doors um, don't close because, um, yes, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Because they're sagging. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but people have repaired them before, right? And they don't close at the top. Andy, Andy, are you gonna help me today? Okay, so if you could see here, you have to, you have to lift this up. Um, I need to work. Can I do some work now? This is a turnbuckle kit. You'll need two of these to do uh, two doors behind me here. And you'll need um, two Labradors, right, my little girl? Um, you know, whenever you're doing something, they're just like, which is, it makes me smile. So this on here, but first, whenever you seen anything with uh, drywall screws, red flag, okay? Drywall screws, screws cannot carry weight. They can't carry a load. They're cheap screws that are meant to hold drywall against a piece of wood, okay? Not a door from sagging. These uh, to-go food containers make really good, um, well, containers to hold stuff like this. And you can reuse those angle brackets. Um, you can even reuse drywall screws, just not for um, door repair, you know. You see how the gap here is, what, uh, a little more than an eighth of an inch, and then it gets larger here? Because the door's sagging, yeah. So get yourself some wood shims. We're gonna shim the bottom of the door to straighten out that gap. So the gap here and here are the same with these. This little troublemaker likes wooden wedges. Okay, that's your wooden wedge, go. So we're gonna push the door up and shove the wedge in. The gap is still, it, on this side, that gap is still big. Something to keep in mind here is that this is glass and your door was kind of like, well, this side was down. And so that puts some stress on the glass because the glass is square and it's rigid and the wood is, well, I'm visually sagging. I'm not gonna touch that. But, um, so when you push this up, just keep that in mind. Don't just jerk it up, just uh, slow and steady wins the race, okay? Because this glass could break, just, I mean, just be careful, you know. You can use a level if you want, but you know, to tell the truth, this building is 120 years old, right? And there is nothing square level or plumb in this place. So, you know, your, your door, you could restore it to level, but is the frame level? I doubt it. So that's why I'm eyeballing this and, um, I'm gonna raise that up some more, because once we do the repair, it's gonna sag a bit. So you can use your level, but maybe not. Hello? How are you enjoying that wedge? No wedge for spiker. So for the second door, I can slide this in place a little bit and then lift this up without pinching my fingers. And that goes in like that. You wanna to go to the store and get what's called a turnbuckle kit. Um, this one, the rods aren't really long. I'd like the rods to be longer, but it's kind of a use what you got situation here. 
This is my favorite cordless drill. It's not big. It's really, really nice. I'll link to it below. But the key thing here is I bought this aftermarket thing. It is a flip bit, drill bit and screw bit. Come in handy with this, okay? Spin this out so you can have as much thread exposed as possible, but still having thread engage the end of the turnbuckle. That's all the way out, so we wanna go, and this one's the left-handed thread, so you're kind of thinking backwards. So I want some tooth in there. I want some thread in there to connect this and do the same thing on this side. So this is now this long adjustable rod. So then I'm gonna take the bottom end of this on the corner down here, because we wanna pull it up, right? Hinges are over here, so the bottom of the turnbuckle goes here. Basically like that. One pilot hole and the outside hole, okay? Drill bit. Screw bit. Don't do the second hole, okay? Just a heads up, with this turnbuckle crossing right near that wood is not ideal. It'll be all right, but um, I could have brought that down maybe a little bit, but it is what it is. So look at this. It's um, close is so much nicer than it did. And that's, there's barely any um, tension on there. So we are gonna tension these rods up and uh, stay to the end. We'll see if these doors close. So turning this counterclockwise gives it a little bit of tension. And that's all I want on that one. This is still sticking. I can see, let me show you. Um, I don't know if I can see that with the camera. Can you see? There you go. See, it's just, just hitting that wood. You hear that? Do you hear the door? Oh, and look, the door opened. Ooh, that's close. Andy, do you think the door will open or not? Let's see. How cool is that? Huh? If I can do this, you can do this. Oh, and it won't close, hold on. I gotta work on this. Okay, you get the idea. It's not hard. Go out and do cool stuff. Make it a great day.